Bam, bam, ba, down. Theme song. Welcome back to Solid Content and welcome back to Mercury Fallen. Now, um, you know, full disclosure, I had a lot of fun playing this in the last uh, episode. And I, I've got too many sort of full-on series or like Let's Plays going on right now. Uh, so I kind of wanted to make that just sort of a quick look. But we had a lot of fun. You guys were watching it. You know, why not make another one? That's kind of what I'm <laughs> where I'm at with this. So without further ado, I thought I would make at least two more videos on Mercury Fallen. One to cover the mid game, and then maybe we'll wrap it up with like what it looks like on the, you know, maybe we'll get to the surface today. I don't know. But there is, I've noticed in looking through the research tree, there's actually like a lot of research based on logistics and stuff up on the surface. So it makes me feel like that there's actually a lot of depth to this game, and I want to find out if that's true. So I've gone ahead and saved up a bunch of materials. As you can see, I'm definitely in the mid game in terms of like what I've researched. We've got our decorations, not very many. Recipes, a, a lot of these are unlocked except for the like another layer of advanced recipes. So I've bought a lot of recipes. Uh, not much in the crops department, but we have to discover some more stuff. I've discovered a couple of blueprints, like aeroponics and robotics and stuff. We just need to get there first. But the first thing and the biggest goal put to you when you first start Mercury Fallen and a new colony is to get to the surface. So let's unlock surface exploration and let's set up to go to the surface. I think there's a couple of things I want to do. Uh, first, I'm going to turn the, uh, the music down. Just a Oh, that was almost too much. I'm going to turn the music down a little bit. Maybe up a little bit. Okay, that feels good. I wish... We're not live streaming, so I can't ask you. I just have to assume you're okay with the current volume. <laughs> um, so a couple of things happened. I took the bedrooms out of here, and I put two bedrooms over here. So our colonists each have their own bedrooms. And then I built a little recreation area with the uh, dartboard, and then I researched and put it in an arcade cabinet just for fun. Really cool graphics. I like how the glow uh, comes off the screen like that. They haven't really used it much. I haven't seen them use it, but I'm glad it's there. Then I was thinking this area could be the kitchen, and uh, uh, this area down here can be our extra stuff, because we need to get ready for all the new tech that we have. In fact, let's take a look. I was thinking we could just like stuff a bunch of mechanical stuff in here. Uh, the one thing we have that's new is the tech printer, which is uh, fairly small. We can even put that in here, actually. Uh, so the tech printer is going to advance 3 printers, construct electrical and mechanical technologies. So what's great about that is it's going to allow me to build some uh, machinery and stuff. So each person also has all these equipment slots that you can add things. Like uh, right now I just have a neural stim, so I can turn that person into a... Uh, a, a marine from StarCraft or something and just give them a little neural stim. Then I've got... But the other thing to remember is also, so do your little robots. Where are they? Here we are. Here's one. These folks also can have equipment plugged in. We don't have any available, but once we get that tech printer up and running, I think we should be able to install... Oh, yeah, I found a new uh, robot, by the way. Uh, so we're just going to call this one uh, Zeke. Zeke. No, wait. Z-E-3... <laughs> Zeke. And then we're going to call this one here... Um, we are. We're gonna call this one uh, Stephanie. Ste uh, Stephanie Chambers. <laughs> okay, so she's got that's Stephanie Chambers, and there's Z. Th 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 okay, so the robots also have. You can go into here in your tab and add uh, equipment to them to improve, inc improve or buff their kind of uh, abilities, productivity, etc. However, so does all of the machinery. You go into here, boom, equipment. I can add in something that uh, doubles the output chance which I guess you get kind of free materials off that. That's kind of good. And um, power consumption, minus 20%, all done at the tech printer. I'm actually going to go ahead and boost the output of the one that makes copper. Yeah, because copper is kind of a problem in this game. Until we get mining bots that can go deeper, I'm going to add that that machine to that. And then what to, what is very power hungry? I'm not sure. Maybe our cooking, our cooking machine, like our, our, our stove and everything. We should lower the power consumption requirements on that. The other thing I've done, as you can see here, is I've added in some batteries. Normally when they're full up, yeah, they these need to get powered up by our, our people. But everybody's kind of got a lot of tasks going on. So normally these are kept full. Uh, I am running 400 megawatts produced. So that's not great. Total consumed 446 watts, and I'm only making 400 watts. So at peak power usage right now, we are overusing. Let's let's install this equipment because maybe I can uninstall it anyway. I'm gonna lower the draw from the bio refiner because the bio refiner has a lot of jobs that it's doing right now. So let's lower the power consumption of that, and then maybe let's install some more of these. 
But we could also look at uh, installing our solid fuel generator. An O2 generator. Oh, yeah. Uh, in order to grow our population, we'll need more of these. I don't even have an O2 monitor. But I assume that's going to be like maybe when we get to the surface or something. A map table. In order to monitor surface operations, we'll need a map table. Oh, so cool. And there it is. The elevator connects the underground facility to the surface. Okay, things are about to get nuts. Looks like we need some microchips or something, though. And 50... I can't quite see what that is. So well, we have 25 microchips. We have 100 resins. We need 100 whatever that is. I wish I, I'll just gonna, I'm gonna place it down, pause the game so I can just really see what that is. So we need 100 bioplastics, 50 steel belays. Okay, let's cancel that. Okay, how do, we, how do I make a steel belay? Not there. It's probably in their tech printer maybe. Add order. Oh, here it is. Steel belay. And then what do we need to do that? Anthracite fuel. A harder and purer form of carbon than coal. Well, I have anthracite. So that means I need to make anthracite fuel somehow. And is that fuel pellets? That doesn't seem to make sense. Biofuel pellets are... No, so anthracite fuel. I'm wondering if anthracite fuel is the same thing as anthracite? Oh, it's hard to, a harder and purer form of carbon than coal. And then if you hover over anthracite here, it's like... Harder and pure. Anthracite fuel. Okay, okay, it is anthracite fuel. Okay, so let's just order up. Let's craft X amount instead of maintaining. I have a lot of maintain orders here. Um, this one, I'm just trying to make 150 iron ingots because I just want to. So let's go ahead and order up, you know, like 75 of those bad boys. Uh, we have a lot. We have enough to make 300 anthracites. Let's just make 100 and apply that. Apply. Why aren't you letting me? Why aren't you letting me apply? Let me apply for that amount. 100. Apply. It really doesn't want me to. 75? Apply. Oh, we're missing something. Ingredient. Choose item. Oh, we have to pick. Okay. Hematite or iron ingots. Let's go hematite as our as our bonding agent, I guess, and do 75 of those because, oh, five. Ooh, that's a lot of hematite. Okay, let's just make 50 to start. Woof. That's going to be an, exp that's an expensive recipe right there. So we're going to get that going. I don't want to use the iron ingots because we still have a lot of construction left to do. The one last thing to do in the mid game is you're going to find like those robots, but you're also going to find more colonists. Here he is just waiting in a sitting position, waiting to be unlocked. So let's get Chris Grech out here. Who's a builder. That's going to be great to have. It'd be great to have him early though, but we don't have a bed for him yet. I, I basically, I want to just get his room ready before we invite him out. I'm so ho I'm so hospitable. So let's just chop down all the rest of that dirt there and then and bring out the base this way here. Then maybe over here we could actually build our sort of receiving area. I'm just trying to think like this area I've left the water exposed and there's water over on this side as well. I don't really like we could just floor this all off and have a nice big hallway in here. However, it's just not useful right now. So this area is kind of just like undeveloped. There's a lot of ba part of the bases that are just undeveloped. In fact, I'm thinking we also need an eating area, don't we? So let's take a look here at our options. We've got a water pump. We need to start pumping water, I assume, to the kitchen. Um, or whatever engines, uh, uh, machines need it. But I'm pretty sure it's the kitchen. And then we need an eating area too. How big are these? These are big. These are big boys. Okay, so I think here's what we're going to do. Kitchen here. Oh, this could be the med lab. We're going to go med lab up here, kitchen here. Then we're going to go apartments and stuff down here. And, like, maybe you walk out through this door. You're going to walk into, like, a wide open, like, seating area. Then we're going to have some an apartment or two here. And then maybe we continue on down this. Uh, yeah, if we continue on down here, we could have our elevator to the surface right there. So let's build that out. That's the new plan. This is the, it, this is the mid game. Now, now we're popping off. I'm wondering if I can get a little bit more growth going on. If I move these over and undo my rule of having, like, space in between them. I'm not sure. Like, the spread hasn't been that much of a problem. Like, if, as long as you're on top of it. One, and then another one there. So, let's put our wall here. Let's see if I remember that. If we put our wall here, I could potentially... Yeah, there we go. We could get two more rows of growth here. We could also get, actually, three if we go... Yeah, like, let's put three in, because I think you can walk on top of them, too. So let's put three in there, and then we can have... Uh, oh, we could do hallway here, just for fun, just to make it look like we planned this. We can go hallway. Now, we got to be careful, because this is actually using up a lot of iron 
uh, or copper rather. I, I really love lights, but we do not have the resources to put very many lights in. In fact, maybe I shouldn't even put a light there to be honest. Let's not for now, because we need to put lights in down this area, and I only have 23 copper ingots left. To undo that, what I need to do is find some more of this stuff, but there isn't very much uh, left until I can get into the mining in the ground, which, you know, you better believe I'm working on. So as you can see, this is kind of what the mid-game looks like. I've mined most of the underground habitat, and I'm definitely getting close to needing to get above... Uh, ground into up to the surface to see what it has for me up there but to do that we need to build a lot more stuff so they've been mining yeah now it looks like yeah this is nice they mine closer to home first and then they'll go out to the further stuff later on so that's always nice to know that you can sort of naturally prioritize your mining tasks that way so if we put a uh if we shove a bunch of farms in there then we can go put this wall up here let me just get this done first Let's go a door there. You know, honestly, I don't know if I need that much farming. If I just move these closer together, we can get another farm in there. But I don't know if I need to really overly optimize my farm setup. We could put four in here, though. And then have, like, a door to the kitchen right here. Okay, let's do that. We're going to put four in right there and then kind of put a door there to our kitchen. Okay, let's put like a wall light there maybe, but let's figure out what's going to go on here. So floor, uh, kitchen floor, and I'm going to put some hallway in the doorways there. That always feels nice. All right, so we're going to go kitchen floor here. What does the kitchen floor need? Why it needs something? Where's the cooking station? There we are. I assume that's going to need electricity, and I've, I've checked before. I believe it also needs water. So let's put the kitchen cooking station here. Storage. Refrigerator, refrigerizer, like next to it, I guess. I don't know. I'm just making it up. Refrigerizer. Then I think we have what's this? Receiving access points for items delivered from the surface. Oh, so cool. Access points for items that are needed on the surface. Oh, very cool. Food dispenser. Where can I put that? The kitchen is used. For okay, so you can put it on kitchen floor. Actually, let's test something because we could also just put the dispenser. Anywhere. Okay, so we can put that in the... Uh, let's deconstruct that door. We can put that in our cafeteria, right? Like, we could put it right... Uh, food dispenser right here. Oh, let's put it in the corner. Wait, hold up. Pause, 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 pause. I want you to make a door here, please, sir. Right there. Thank you. Oh, excellent work. Really responsive, Chuck Kirk. Solid colonist name. Very good. Okay, uh, let's get some power in here. I'm just assuming the fridge will need it as well. I'm not going to lie, the music, a little stressful. The mid game. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's delete this whole thing and clear that current crop. Let's delete this guy and delete this guy. They've just been regrown. So once, yeah, once this is harvested, again, I'm not in a rush though because we have 600 potatoes. Some more research here, another 300. So let's get food. Oh, uh, data servers, because we actually can't hold more research than 300. And food processing looks pretty good. Slices and dices and grinds, oh my. <laughs> oh my. Please rate, on a scale of 1 to 10, my George Takei just now. But the data servers allow us to store more research data, so we're going to unlock that. And let's get some of those built in our lab here. I believe there's spots, like, right here. Is that storage? Data centers, baby! 50 watt, whoa! Pricey. Expensive things. Alright, so we've got that going. This has just been... Crop is good. Yeah, I know about that. Failed to craft an iron ingot. Okay, be careful. Stop wasting resources. Uh, oh, wait. Hang on. I think I wanted that, didn't I? Let me think about this. We go farm. We go one. Oh, we can actually fit, like, quite a few in here. Okay, this is... Okay, this is good to know. Let's go two, three, four. We can actually go five and six. Oh, my goodness. We're going to do that. We're going to put in... I might not even farm all of this. That's pretty wild. That's a lot. Hallway floor right here and here. Okay, we're going to put something here. I don't know. But, oh, some storage. Raw ingredient storage. Crop bin. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's looking way better. That's a massive amount of farming. And then here's like a little pathway just because. Just because uh, get over yourself, you know what I mean? So we'll put some hallway floor in there. So realistically, people are probably just going to walk this way to get to various things. Let's deconstruct this floor. What is that, H? Yep. 
deconstruct this floor, get all those floor points back, and then we're gonna put a med bay in there, I think. Uh, assembly lab operations floor. Oh, cool. Med bay floor, there we go. Well, oh, that's gonna take one bioplastic. Whew, expensive. Okay, so that's all coming together. This little area here, not sure what we're gonna put there. I feel like we do need to think about this water pump here. 250 gals, and it takes 75 watts. Oh, boy. Oh, Nelly. Uh, let's go. What if we put it, like, right? Can we put it? Oh, you can just put it right on the water, I guess. Okay. So here's what we're going to do, though. We're going to mine this away, and just so you can kind of access things. Then we need... Where'd it go? Where'd I put it? Here we go. Water pump. Let's just not put it too far away, I guess, right? Is that actually going to work, though? That's the thing. I don't want to use all these resources and then find that that's it's got to be really, like, in the middle of some water or something. Let's read this. Spits it out into water conduits. This thing really sucks. Must be built on water. That's it. So this might just be a water tile. I don't know if it's going to decrease water consumption or not. Anyway, I assume it needs power. So we're going to get some power to it. And then I assume the water, because I've checked, I know, blah, 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 is going to go down here to supply the cooking station. I don't know how much it needs, but, you know, this, they're not super expensive to build those pipes. So we'll get that done. So this is looking good. We've got all this mined out, so that's nice. How big are these rooms? Three by four. So let's build another three by four, I think. One, two, three, four. There, there. There, there. <laughs> and we could actually do another one, but I'm not sure if this room will even be populated at any point. Uh, although I did discover the, the blueprints for a cloning facility, so that's kind of nice. So let's go with a thin hallway here, and this will be our sort of cafeteria area, furniture, tables. How much room do they need? Oh, they are spicy. It says green, so I think that's just the... Am I going to have to build chairs against all these? Or does it come with chairs? A place for colors. I just... I don't want it to... I don't want to space it right there. I kind of want it to be like... Oh, but you know what? There's going to be a hallway here, so that's fine. So let's go like here. Oh, how do I place that? Uh, what does it need to be on? Cafeteria floor or something, I bet. Furniture. Cafeteria floor. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So let's go cafeteria floor. Is that like a carpet? I love it. You know me. If you've seen this channel, you know I love me some carpets. Okay, so there's our two. There's like a very large area with uh, some of that. And then we're going to go hallway here. Okay, and then there's going to be a lot of different rooms and doors here with a central access point to our kind of like, I don't know, it's like a, this is kind of the major entrance of the base is kind of our dream here. And by our dream, I of course mean me, but you're watching it. You've got to just put up with me, all right? That's just what it is. Uh, oh, we kind of don't need that. Uh, let's delete this. Bring that wall forward a bit here. And let's mine. Whoops, I don't know what button that is, but sometimes it resets your view. And I, I do like it. I just wish I knew what button it was. I gotta pay attention to my chunky old fingers when I'm doing this. <laughs> All right, so that leaves a little bit of unbuilt space here, but we can put some storage there, some power generation even. I think we're definitely gonna need more of these. And for some reason, effort to me seems smarter than building an entire bioreactor because then we're gonna start burning through supplies and resources. I don't know. I'm 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 not great at these kind of games in that sense. I'm always looking for the uh, easier way that doesn't use up resources. You know, call me crazy, and I know some of you do. That's just how it is. What about this utility floor here? Okay, some some wheelie boys here and here, and then whatever the batteries need. What do the batteries need to be stored on? Uh, I think just utility. Yeah, let's put some more utility floor down. Two more, hear me out, two more batteries back there. Now we've got double our capacity. Uh, excuse me. Okay, wrong floor. Wrong floor. Nope. Right floor. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on there. That was a little bit of chaos. But I mean, if you know what... There we go. What did you come to, if, if not to see some chaos? So there we go. That's another 200 uh, megawatts of power generation and two more batteries to store it. We are slowly filling up our power total consumed right now is 300 watts so yeah we definitely oh 396 so that's going to slow the time that we're filling up these batteries so another two should help us a little bit although i think yeah when the kitchen's being used that's another 75 watts the fridge will probably be, always be being used so that's going to be pricey 
Okay, in here we need to get our bedroom floor laid out. And I think we should up the priority here of the bedroom floor so we can get a bed for our gentleman. We should up the priority of the bed area and then probably just bring him bring him to life. Like, let's get this guy up and about and get some lights on in there. And, you know, it doesn't cost a lot, so typically I just like to kind of, like, follow the walls anyway because I know at some point we're going to be powering everything. And especially if I can get to the surface and find a bunch of copper, oh, there's going to be lights everywhere. you got to be kidding me if you think I'm not going to light this thing up like a Christmas tree. Not on that side. Where did that light go? I, think that, I swear that light just disappeared. Okay, that's fine. We'll get a light in here, please. There. There we go. Okay, so there's another light somewhere here. Ah, it doesn't matter. Let's get a little furniture in here. This is a lot of bioplastics. That's a lot of iron. Medical cabinet. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to build all that. Oh, boy. Let's give this guy a chair just for fun. Let's put a chair in here. And let's get that bookshelf, I guess. We can make bioplastic with hemp. We've got a lot of it. Well, we've got 50 of it. This is going to cost copper, but it looks really nice. What about that plant? Ten, ten of those. Beautiful. Nope. Come on. Really didn't want to put... I'm sure it can fit there. I've put another one next to a bed before. Let's pick it up again. Oh, I, oh, see? Look there. Okay, it places. I don't know what that was about. Okay, let's get this guy to a high priority. Let's... Can I select all this floor? Nope, you can't click and select. So let's go... Oh, yeah, I understand. Okay, let's go into this then and do it this way. Let's find our bedroom floor here. Oh, did we up, up it in priority? Oh, we kind of did. Oh, it's just chaos right now. There's a lot of builds uh, yet to be done. We've given them a lot to do. Move to top. Move to top. There we go. Let's get this bedroom done first. So we can at least get that... Uh, bed in there. Move to top. Oh, I understand what happened. When I moved the bed to high priority, the required flooring also moved naturally to high priority so we could get done first before the bed is built. Oh, that's very clever and I like that they did that. That's very... That's... You know, we like that. We're happy with that. Uh, let's not worry about the walls for right now. We basically just need the floor done and then that bed. In fact, let's move it to high priority because like I just said, it'll still build the floor we need. Floor not... Yeah, I know. where You're going to do the floor first. Okay, so the bed is now high priority. And I believe we have all the resources for it. Ten cloth, structure resin, tons of resin, and oh, tons of cloth. So that's going to get built quickly. So I don't feel too bad waking up our new buildsman who's going to probably build his own bedroom. Open capsule. Who do we have? Our new colonist? Is he shirtless? I mean, I'd be fine with it, but no, he's not. He's wearing kind of like a 70s style shirt. Let's take a look at his job options. So yeah, let's keep him as our main builder. Constructing kitchen floor. Okay, whatever. We'll let him do that. 60%. Uh, he's a good miner, but let's keep him around and have him tech niche to keep that power running. And then he could be a good botanist. Oh, let's... Let's set him up as the cook. We're going to need a cook pretty soon here. I don't want to start making some better meals. And then let's deconstruct this because it's going to have some interesting, uh, useful materials. In the meantime, we have a lot of building to do into our mid-game here, but it's, uh, it's coming along. Oh, good. We've... Uh, kind of done away with all this. I hesitate to start building all, like, laying all this out while we still have all this to build. Um, but, yeah, let's, maybe let's let it, let the simulation cook for a bit before we get to the next part, which is the mid-game, which is getting to the surface. Our steadfast team have finally uh, built the cafeteria. Again, no lights. I'm going to be careful with my copper ingots. We've actually gone through all our hematite as well, but we do have a lot of iron uh, ingots. So worst case scenario, I can switch my uh, steel billet construction over to using the iron ingots. Uh, but I, right now I'm just looking for more hematite as well. So we're kind of looking for more accessible hematite and uh, as you're right as we go along. So we're going to be ready for that. In the meantime, we've filled the fridge with potatoes and filled this with potato. We just have so many potatoes. So I'm trying to get this guy to uh, make a bunch of meals here. I think they've started. Do I have any simple meals? I don't see simple meals uh, anywhere here, but that's definitely going to improve people's eating. They're going to be a lot happier with me if we can get somebody cooking. But I think I have it just as, like, too low on the colonists' uh, sort of schedule of things to do. The food dispenser also kind of allowed items. Let's go meals. Oh, yeah, I've allowed all the meals. So that, as you can see, there's a lot that you can do here. It's basically just going to be cooked potatoes for now. Uh, we don't have any other recipes uh, at the moment. 
Uh, do I have anything else? I can't even do... Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with the blue... The, the These mushrooms, the arrowhead fungus. Um, large blue-capped edible fungus. So I think they just eat them raw. Not sure what to do with that. We're going to get this built at some point, though. We have enough... Uh, am I using up... I might want to pause. I'm going to pause construction on this guy. Simply because... I don't know if I want to use up all those uh, microchips and fasteners. We got to get some high-tech stuff built out here. So, a couple of things to do. Thing number one, we need to find a spot for... I think I think our tech printer should be over here, to be honest. Because this is where like, most of our storage is going to be. So we should put our tech printer here as well. So we'll do tech printer up here. Still not sure what's going to go down there. And then our sort of command area should be right here, I think. Then we can also have our entrance and eventually our elevator. So let's kind of do that. Let's like plan this out. It's going to be very expensive. So this is going to take like, I don't know, quite a lot of time out of the episode to build. And one thing I'd like to do here is like maybe some entrances would be kind of nice. Something like this. Let's delete that. I have an entrance right there. So it's just like a little bit of an in inlaid sort of entrance. Then the hallway yeah, this is going to be very large. But yeah, it maybe comes down like this. So let's bring this out like so. And let's bring this like so. Yeah, so that's sort of our entrance there. Nice big sort of hallway space. This area here is our widest area. Uh, it's very wide open, but I, th I felt that they deserved a little extra space. Worst case scenario, I could actually put like a, a pillar here or something to help in case of cave-ins. Especially this area here. It could be... It could be I'm not sure. Uh, but it's, it's pretty wide open, so I feel like some potential cave-ins could happen there. So let's get a door here. Oh, we gotta put the wall first. Uh, let's get a door like here. And make that sort of our command center, maybe? What if we go a little bit wider? Kind of want to put the walls there, I think. So we'll go here. Let's put that across there to there. And then there's another hallway here, and then there'll be sort of like a an entrance exit kind of vibe there. Uh, let's get let's clear this crap out. So it's gonna go down to here. Let's clear all that out as well. There we go. Let's clear all that out. And we're going to build our... Oh, I guess the elevator's got to go somewhere, doesn't it? So this is... If that's our map room... Oh, we can have the elevator in here, too. Okay, that's good. Kind of feels like it needs to be more ornate, then. Let's put, like, a double door situation in here. Right there. A light right here. We'll put our map room... I mean, again, like, do we want our... I think the way this game is going to break out is, like, the elevator is fine to be here and to have, like, a map room right here is fine. Like, I don't think we're going to be getting attacked in that sense. Oh, the map table's a big boy. And it needs to be on some kind of... Or do we want it... Uh, okay, what, what, what can we do with this? I wish there were windows. Now, that would be something else. It'd be nice to be able to look, have a little command center here and, like, look out. But anyway, in terms of future proofing, let's put some um, uh, com operation floor down here, and some hallway here. Yes, we're kind of covering over some active azurite and hematite, but like we'll, we'll figure it out later. <laughs> okay, so let's go for. I mean, you got to build somewhere, right? Let's go for our map table, right? I guess here. Kind of wanted it to be a little bit in the center of the room, to be honest. So let's go and. H, rotate to the walls. Let's remove this, these walls. Let's remove even more of this mined out area here. And let's go for my dream placement right there. So that means I'm going to need walls even wider. Like here, I think. Okay, so what does that look like? Uh, map facility right there. Yes, very good. Then what we could do... Oh, yeah, because we'll still need shipping and stuff. So let's actually delete that. Let's get this room built out as 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 I designed it here. And uh, fill that with operations floor. We could put a wall here and uh, and some doors here. And then we're going to need spots for shipping and all that stuff. So we'll put the elevator kind of like in this corner here and some shipping and receiving up here. Perfect. Okay. And then we could even put in another door there. I'm not sure if we need to, though. But that's feeling pretty good. You almost want to put some doors here. Let's put another door like here and see what that does for us yeah you really want to be able to access this space in a big way oh i'm losing some frames i'm losing frames here and i'm losing power well that's because uh you know i'm i'm demanding a lot of these little spin-up generators i know i'm supposed to go to the other generator but if i'm being 100 percent honest with you i kind of want to push through to where is it 
more power store, a geothermal power, which is basically like ultimate ultra end game. However, we're not that far away from getting surface power. So I might just build some solar panels up there on the surface. Oh, a power pole would be sweet. And a wind turbine, yeah. So let's get there so we don't need to burn through all that fuel. I'm just not, I just want to skip over the fuel part entirely, which maybe is it cheating? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, let's make sure this is all... Oh, they, great. They're already connected to the power grid. That's delightful. So now we're producing 500 watts. We're about to be producing 600. And we should be able to then load up our batteries a little more efficiently. Okay, yeah, somebody spin that up. Come on, spin it up. Yes! 700 watts being produced. No, 600, I mean. Power needs met for now. One battery already full. Can we get this second battery full before everybody goes to sleep? We shall find out. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, I think we're set up for the future. This is looking good here down here, so let's fill this up with some walls. And now it's just going to be a matter of building all this stuff. Um, this is this seems fairly, like, operations floor is two iron ingots a, a turn. Like, that is an expensive floor, I'll be honest with you. Listen, I, I'm not going to lie to you, that's an expensive floor. Okay, let's go for that elevator. Let's place the elevator, like, right in the corner, I think. I wish there were some fencing, some security fencing we could put around that or something. I don't know. Leaving this open for the wall, potential wall. I also have shipping and receiving, access point for items delivered from the surface. I think you only need one. So we can go here. I mean, I, I'm hoping you only need one. Wait, what was that? Which one was that? Shipping. Let's move that. I don't know why, but let's move it closer to here. <laughs> and move this to receiving. It didn't need any type of floor, so I guess I'm just going to put in, like, the cheapest floor I can think of. We could also have storage containers here just for fun, potentially, just to make it look kind of cool. Uh, or some lights, I guess. kind of want lighting in here. How much... I am out of copper. Okay, so we're going to have to find copper to finish a lot of these. That's all fine and good. We need 50 steel belays. We have eight. <laughs> all right, that's going to be a problem. We need a lot of bioplastic. We're going to use up a lot of iron. Uh, st oh, st is that steel belays as well? Good lord, we need a lot of steel belays. Okay, we got to switch our steel belay production over here. Let's find this. Let's exit out. Add an order queue. Steel belays. Let's change that to those. It only needs one of those, so that's actually pretty efficient. Although, to make one of those is five anyway. So, it really it, it needs the equivalent of, of five of these anyway. So we're going to use these. We're going to craft, I guess, another 75 of those. Good lord, that's going to be pricey. So let's get 175 of those. Uh, let's remove craft 85. Let's remove that. Craft if below 50. So that's going to be ignored, so they're going to get work on the steel belays right away. Craft 13 more glass, but we don't have sand. I don't think I need... I've got 32 glass. I'm going to take that order away just to clean things up. So I know this is going to immediately make more copper if we find it. Crafted below 450, so yeah, that's going to be pretty high on the priority right now. And then these were just some raw craft orders. Let's take those away to clean things up a little bit. We might need another biorefiner, but I'm going to ignore that for now. Uh, in favor of probably... Let's get our tech printer placed. Okay, what does that need, tech printer-wise? It needs assembly lab floor. Yeah, I'm not going to build a whole assembly lab. Okay, I'm going to build one assembly lab, and then I'm going to build one tech printer right there. Yes, is that right near this person's door? Yes, but it doesn't seem to bleed. None of this stuff seems to bleed into the rooms, which I am oh so thankful for. Space Haven, you harsh mistress. I, I'm coming back for you. Oh, we've got three batteries full now, so we have 150, I assume, 1,000 watts of stored power in these batteries. We'll, we'll be able to get another 50,000 uh, there. So yeah, our power problem is mostly solved with this, but obviously it's going to get a little more expensive as we continue to expand. Has anybody built... Uh, supply yet for this? No. So let's go into power. Select this. Increase to high. Okay, I think we need to let all this cook. Let all this build. Uh, probably close... I'm gonna close this off for now, just so it's like we have our nice little base. What if we go... Yeah, let's mine the rest of this away and build an entrance here. Probably an entrance out here. Maybe similar to this. So let's go and mine this away. We're going to get an entrance here, an entrance here, and then seal this off just so it feels a little more enclosed. I don't know, but I like having my base kind of nice and enclosed. This area is very gross and messy. We haven't done anything with this. I guess we could put our lab, our med bay floor here. I'm not sure. I, I, I got to be honest with you. The med bay, where is med bay? 
Med bay floor. How expensive is it? Let's leave it for now. Here's the thing about the med bay. Um, we're not really using it. Nobody's getting been injured. <laughs> Maybe they're going to be injured when we go to the surface. We'll need a med bay at some point. I was happy to let things continue to grow and continue to build, but then I got a warning about this. Xeno, oh good lord, it spreads fast. And it's apparently a spready type of mold. I'm not sure how to deal with it. Uh, not an invasive and fast growing mold. Movement speed minus 40, decor minus 50. Uh, coming to clean, oh, it's a cleaning task. Okay, so we might need to go into our colonists here and make sure that, uh, okay, he's maxed cleaning. Oh, okay, both Zeke and Stephanie Chambers are maxed for cleaning. So hopefully this becomes like, oh good lord, it spreads fast. I wonder if there's a in a, a way I could just create an emergency order that gets everybody on cleaning right away. I'm not sure yet. Cleaning xenomold, cleaning xenomold. As long as they can research it faster than it grows. Oh, look, the planet map. I wonder if our, that means our map is up. Um, okay, that's... We're going to have to keep an eye on this because it grows pretty fast. The creep has begun to take hold, which means we are definitely in our mid-game. As you can see, things are still continuing well. I put down a bunch of utility floor around some of the command floor just because it was a waste of steel at this point. Uh, so we're, this is going to continue building. We need a bit more copper. And here's another tip. I was building a battery here. There was like five or six copper in it. And I was like, ah, we just need to speed up production of our tech printer. Uh, you know, 150 is fine. 150,000 watts is fine. We don't need that extra 50. Let's delete this and reclaim the copper. Sure enough, 100% uh, no refunds on any committed resources. Did not know that. So that's a bit surprising. Anyway, the Xeno mold looks like it's been cleaned up. I wish there was a way to research it and figure out what that was all about. Oh, no. Unless they come back, that's going to spread again. Stephanie's coming back. Stephanie cleans the last one. Oh, phew. Okay, the Xenomold threat is gone, but we're going to have to keep our eye on that one. And, uh, yeah, beware of failed or lost resources. But we're going to continue mining and, and looking for resources. We're going to continue cutting and carving away at all of this. What is that? Some oh, stone? Eh, we'll take some stone. We need some stone. And uh, hopefully we'll have enough resources. I do think you get some back if you delete, like, for instance, some of these lights and stuff. We will get some copper back. But if it's being built, I don't think you get a refund. Well, it was 63 whole days. But we finally made it to a finished elevator and command center. And we have now, I would say, achieved... Uh, okay, can you divide a game up into, like, mid-late... Like, late mid-game? I'm in the late mid-game now, I would say. As you can see, I had a bit of a, a copper finds in the in the mines over here. I found some good copper strains, or azurite, I guess. So, obviously, I've added that uh, those lights to the walls a little bit. Just kind of pretty it up a little bit. I could go harder, I think, but we'll kind of leave it as is for now. I also put down some more flooring in this area, and I think this area looks a lot better. I wish these lights, you know, gave off more light or there's some floor lights or some way to put some lights in here. I could put like, uh, you know, a pillar here. I wonder what that would look like if I put a pillar here. It's okay. It looks a little, uh, you know what? I like it. I like that it breaks things up a bit. And one thing I noticed is that like, see how there's no, uh, you know, uh, happiness decor buff right there. Well, what we can do is place these lights. Come on, let me get some lights placed. Let me get some lights on the wall. Oh, it's weird how they're right on the edge, but that's okay. We'll put them on the edge. Okay, there we go. Come on, build. Nope, build. There we go. Build. There we go. That's a lot of copper I'm going to use, but I think that's going to look nice and spill a lot of light. But you'll notice... Uh, oh, I'm wrong. Okay, usually... Okay, maybe it's when you bring the resources, you already start getting the decor bu uh, buff. But right now, there's no buff. But we we'll see it momentarily. And then maybe let's put something... I don't know what, what look good here. Bookshelf, maybe? Oh, that does kind of look nice. Let's put some bookshelves here, and uh, maybe this one is not there, but maybe there's a potted plant there. Uh, furniture, it's right there, okay. Great, so that'll look kind of nice and cute. We got some, or maybe I'm wrong. So maybe there is a buff from the green, from the decor, from the light. However, it's just not that strong. So maybe that buff is already there for the other lights. We'll never know. Actually, we'll know right now. Watch, watch, watch. Will I get a buff? It did change. You know what? Honestly, it did change a little bit. So, yeah. No, I, w I was wrong about that. I thought that was going to be a big thing uh, that I was going to reveal to everyone and that I would make a bunch of friends. But I, I didn't, and I won't. So, anyway, we have this area built out. Let's power this up. Power it up. Power it up. And let's see what happens next.
<laughs> I guess we go up there. Okay, so I, I assume now we have the world map. Uh, where's that world map again? Uh, where, where where was that key? Here it is, F4. Oh, cool, cool, cool. There's the Mercury facility. We've got vehicles. We've got expeditions. Oh, so I have to create an expedition. This is all unknown. So let's create an expedition, I guess. Okay. Distance, zero miles. Vehicle on foot. Vehicle uh, health. Okay, yeah, yeah. Manage passengers. Well, we don't have any other options, so I guess I can just put in a bunch of some people and then just give them 700 cooked potatoes. That's all I have for food. Uh, okay, so manage passengers. Let's send... Um, Let's send Chris Grek, and let's send, uh, who else do we want? Oh, we can send Zeke, we can send a robot. I think what we need to do is we need to, hang on, let's cancel this, because what, what I've just realized is that we had a colonist who was really good at uh, surveying. Let's hover over this. Scans for service resources using the resource scanner. Okay, so we don't have research. We don't have a resource scanner yet, do we? Physical training would be good to get a little bit of a, a gym going. Let's actually re restart our research here. Make sure that's going. Uh, and hopefully I have enough power. This is a lot of power at this point. We're consuming f just about 600, which means once these, all of these have to be running. Okay, so that's not ideal. Let's go ahead and either put in a few more of them or a few more. Let's just put in another one here. No, wait, I want to leave that just for another battery, just in case. So let's put in two more right here. Uh, yeah, does that make sense? Or right, right here? No, okay, let's put in two more right here, right along here. So utility floor. We can put some batteries in there. I mean, we'll just put utility floor for now back there because it doesn't cost anything. It's just one uh, resin block, which we have plenty of. So we'll put in two more of these. And we'll make sure that that gets some power to it as well. There we are. Okay. So th those two more will provide enough power as long as they are getting uh, managed well. And I think we'll be okay. 484. Yeah, okay. We more than enough power. Okay. Okay, where was I? Uh, we don't have a surface scanner or a resource scanner yet. We haven't got there yet. So we kind of want to just get up there and take a look. We want to send an expedition just to find out. Oh, here. The resource scanner is all the way at the end. That's kind of like end game for us, for research at least. Okay, that's fine. We'll get the resource scanner done in a bit here, but right now we have kind of everything we need. One thing we could be doing is fishing. I was looking at the roadmap and they do actually, water trap, can we place over? Yeah, that's the one I want, I guess. Why don't we just put it in here? One thing that they have on the roadmap is they are intending to have the, do I need, does it need, it probably needs power and I don't know if it needs water, but I'm just gonna assume that it does. So what if we go water, pipes, and we go from here to here? I don't know. It would be nice if they could the, use the water pipes to send fish over there or whatever it's going to catch. Uh, okay, so the roadmap, as I was saying, they're going to eventually make this water uh, a finite resource. So I wonder what else they're going to do. Other finite resources? Obviously, these are finite because they disappear. So I think, yeah, they're going to make water a little more finite, and I think... I think some food tweaking could be done because, you know, with a few farms, you can kind of run everything. Oh, and I see we've run out of power. Yeah, we definitely need these and probably more batteries. But really what we need to do is get an expedition going and set up a... Oh, it's still got power. Oh, it doesn't need it. Okay. We need to set up a uh, expedition. So back to the world. Expedition. Now we know what we want to do. We don't need our surveyor. We're not worried about the surveyor just yet. We like Deborah staying behind to do that stuff. We uh, okay, let's get yeah, Chris Grech. and maybe like one more, just so he doesn't get like sad. I don't want him to get to get all sad up there. Chuck seems valuable, but uh, maybe we get yeah. We'll send Chuck Kirk as well, and we're gonna send them with like I don't know two hundred. Oh, they can only hold ninety eight. Let's send them with like fifty potatoes, fifty cooked potatoes. <laughs> Manage destinations. Select a point of distance uh, of interest. Distance zero miles. Add remove. So let's go. Select points of distance. I am. Uh. I guess we have to scan before we go there. Add remove. Finish selection. 
dragging. Hmm. I'm not sure. Waiting for supplies. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure how to set... They're there, I guess. Um... Temperature scanning required. Oh, here we go. Uh, this is moisture. Yeah, so we don't want to really go that way. Uh, I mean, yeah, so uh, discovered biomes. I guess they just have to go up there and, and figure out, you know, what's going on. So let's send them up with some supplies and with those potatoes. Hopefully I sent them with cooked potatoes. Oh, yeah, I did. I sent them with cooked potatoes, so now we have to make another 50 cooked potatoes. Uh, our cook, our chef will no doubt get started on that. Hopefully I did. I'm not sending the chef. I can't remember now. Where is my chef? There we are, Deborah. Yeah, we're not sending Deborah. So Deborah will be able to make the food. We've got. Uh, what are we dealing with here? Uh, random crap. We don't care about. Yeah. So I guess we just need to get to some scanning before we can get up there. Maybe potentially. We've sent some people. We'll see. 100. So we need 600 to get up here. Bio level or aquarium will be cool. Brains. Brain training will be cool, but not necessary. We've already got data servers so we should be able to get over to here surface power vehicle construction a vehicle bay oh very cool oh this is going to be awesome getting some more robots will be good too and then cloning what i noticed for cloning that we're going to need yeah it's weird if we have to get all the way here for resource scanning surely there's some other okay there's something we're doing wrong here let's go back out to here discoveries guide game menu oh, i guess we can look at the guide <laughs> Uh, okay, let's look at the guide. Oh, that's not the guide. <laughs> guide. Okay, okay. So, surface uh, scanning, surface stuff. Um, well, we've made it. I mean, the important thing is we made it to the late mid game. Planet surface, points of interest, expeditions. Uh, okay, yeah. Click and manage the destination planet. It's like one point of, one or more points of interest. Friendly. Uh, surface construction. Yeah, we definitely want to do that. So, wait, how do we scan the surface then? Well. This is for the next part of the game, the late game, I suppose. Uh, robots, okay, yeah. Uh, this is one thing I've noticed. Once we get the cloning uh, facility up and running, that'll be great because we actually need some O2 generators before we can have any more humans join us. Right now, not worried about it. Let's get a little hemp plant in there. Oh, that looks nice. Actually, I think I like the hemp plant the best. What does the potato plant look like? Yeah, and let's go hemp plant. Oh, yeah, that looks great. Plus, nice to have just hemp everywhere. Okay, do we have our expedition? Ready to go. Okay. Uh, yeah, go. <laughs> yeah, do it. Go there, then. Uh, move to. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, here we go. I guess they had to get up there first, and now we can manage their destination. Okay, that was a little confusing, but hey, it's working. Now, this still, their expedition doesn't count as scanned. So this land, they're, sc they're not really scanning anything. They've got 50% of their potatoes left. Their vision range is one. Expedition team. Are you guys, like, discovering anything? Or I mean, we're about to see what's beyond in the, in the fog of war here. I'm looking forward to this. Look how big this map is. So this is our underground base. We got here. Currently stored. Okay, with our current limit on research, we're gonna need to build another server. But in the meantime, let's get. Uh, well, we can't get that. Let's get uh, physical training done, and we could set up a gym here while that expedition's going on. I suppose. Let's build another server while we're at it, and see if that an indi another individual server will hold more research, so we can move forward in our research. Then let's take a look at our furniture, punching bag, and a treadmill. How big are they? Pretty small. So we don't need too big of a gym. I wonder if we could make a sort of a, a gym that allows for more bedrooms or something like that. So like, what if we did something like this? And it was like this wide, what do I want to do here? If it was this wide, like that's the size of one, two, three, four, like uh, one, two, three, uh, four. So that's the size of a an, another apartment that I might want. Like if we go with this basic size of apartment, then we have this area could be our gym. Uh, let's see here. Treadmills. They kind of don't fit. It's Unless I do two in the corner there. So we could go wall across here. Then there. A wall. And then a door. Oops. A door right here. Then we're going to go... Where's our operations floor? Gym floor. Look at this. It's a very long gym, isn't it? How do we feel about that long gym? I don't know. I like it. 
So we'll go, oops, oops, oops. There we are. <laughs> Just kind of spam that button for a second. Let's get some wall light in here. Yep. And uh, wall lights there, there. That's a lot of, I'm using a lot of copper. Gotta be careful here. But I just, I like, there we go. I like bright gems. What do you want from me, you know? And we don't have to worry about this room, but we'll just put a door on it for now. Then this gym here has uh, a couple of treadmills over here in the corner. And then it has maybe another one. Uh, how, do, how do the punching bags work? Oh, sweet. Okay. But I think you can walk in front of them. And then I think that means we can put another treadmill like here. Oh, sick. Dude, this gym is awesome. What a sweet gym. Hopefully they can get on that. It doesn't look like it has a mounting, like a footprint like these ones do. So that means they should be able to access that. Okay, there we go. There's our gym. What do these cost? A bit of that. Oh, ele the electronics. A lot of electronics, actually. There's 15 electronics I'm going to go through. This better not require... How much iron? 10 iron? I think this thing was like 10 iron or something. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that's a lot of iron. Uh, I have... 23 iron ingots. Uh, what am I at here in the production tab? Uh, craft of below 50. So they're trying to make more. We just need to find... Oh, they just need to do the job. Okay. But some of our people might still be on this, this grand expedition. Oh, here they are. Expedition complete. I think what we have to do is find a point of interest so that we can send people directly to that point of interest, I suppose. Uh, let's do... Explore points of interest. Set during expedition creation. What's the point of interest? I, well, I don't know how to create that point of inspira inspiration. Dock at facility. Return the vehicle to the vehicle bay. Okay, so let's uh, keep on keep on exploring. How many? They've got 48 potatoes left. So they actually have, like, we have a fair amount of time with them above ground. Uh, however, I'm not seeing uh, how to scan up here. Well, I'm sure somebody's going to point it out in the discovered biome. Oh, what's this? Fresh water. Oh, okay. Unknown biome scanning required. So I think it's just resource scanning that we need to get to. So what we can do is just like rush, re rush research. We need to do vehicle construction, 750, mining platforms, then resource scanning. Then we'll get to the scanner. Resource scanner. A survey. Uh, so it's three by two and it needs operations floor. Okay. Is that our only scanner? Hidden subsurface resources on explored planet tiles. Okay, explored, yes. But yeah, I guess we need to resource scan it. Yeah, that's got to be what the scanner is. And I'd love to be able to build that stuff as well. But let's rush to the resource scanner and see what that's like. So 314. So we need to get uh, uh, 750 for the next one. So I might need to build more servers. Whoa, that was a bit, bit of a squiggly um, camera move there. But folks, I would say, oh, look. Is that us? Oh, I see. That shows kind of like how, where we are. The map itself is going to become a map. Oh, I love this. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Flora investigation. So let's go ahead and... Oh, so now that that exists, the next... Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. So we're, we're currently collecting points of interest by just looking around. That's the whole idea. Where are you guys going? Give me that. How do I select you? How many? You got 48 potatoes left. Surely I can send you somewhere else. Hello? Oh, there we go. Okay. The animation seems to have not played, but that's okay. We got some fresh water over here. We have a flora investigation to do for our next expedition, which we could just send somebody else. Let's send our chef. No, that's our researcher. Let's send Stephanie Chalmers. Can we just send Stephanie and see what happens? Chuck is feeling depressed today. Oh, darn. Okay. Manage destinations. I want you to go here. Finish selection. Flora investigate. Okay, yeah, it's going to work. And we're just sending her... I don't think we need to send food. Just give her some sushi. I mean, we don't have any, but... Let's give her one cooked potato. All right, embark. Oh, amazing. Waiting for supplies. She's waiting for her single potato. Stephanie's going to grab one potato and put it in her little tiny... You know, her box, her, like, storage container facility. And then these folks, let's keep you going. Yeah, the animation. It's confusing here. Come on. I think the animation's, like, usually it highlights them. 
<laughs> it highlights it usually, but okay, well, let's stop doing that. Okay, our point of interest is being explored. You guys, I might just call you back. Although we should probably find some more points of interest, but this will be good. We might get a whole, a whole thing out of that. I believe our research was capped out as well, so let's take a look at that. 450... Wait, is 450 our cap? Oh, because it's not built yet. No, it is built. Is it not powered yet? 15, 15? No, it's not built. Wait, I'm confused. So it's not built, but it looks very built. Uh, what's going on here? You're powered. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, the animation decided to be done for a second. That's okay. Hopefully Stephanie had enough power and doesn't get left up there. Okay, what's this? We got an exclamation mark over here. Durability is at 4%. Okay, so we have a major durability problem and some of our folks are sleeping. Uh, let's bring our colonists back home so they can do some uh, charging generator on expedition. Oh my goodness. Okay, what is this? Heroin fungus, 55 bio samples. That's amazing, okay. The team takes time to study various fungal samples and takes a smaller variety back for further study. Oh, I love it. Okay, great. Now we have unlocked the next level of, of research materials, which are uh, 55 bio samples. So I assume you're coming back. Talk facility. Okay, great. Let's have you guys move here and just kind of see if you can't find one more point of interest before we bring you back. But we are going to need you back shortly because things are starting to become a little bit of a problem. Where are you? High priority number one. So you're going to be get built any second now. We're going to get that research and do some more, uh, you know, research. I've got enough space here for another room. I'm going to preemptively wall that out and create that simply because we don't know what it's going to be for. Hopefully another colonist once we get cloning up and running or whatever. But for right now, it's just nice to have that finished. So it'll be nice to get this gym in there. We've now increased our research potential, so that's good. That's gonna I'm not sure how high that's going to get us, but if we can get to uh, scanning, uh, that will be excellent. Whew. Well, there you have it. We have done quite a lot this episode, built out quite a lot. I really like how this area turned out. It looks a little bit like a lobby, but I like to think... I've seen them eat uh, meals a few times here, and I like to think it's it's working quite nice. Arrived at destination, actually uh, docked at the primary facility. Okay. Okay, now we've generated as much research as we can. 600. Okay, so we need one more, I think, to get ourselves... Ooh, maybe. We need one more or a few more to get to resource scanning. Uh, but we're going to rush that tech and get there. And I think uh, all that's left to do... Is that another ROI? Point of... Or a POI? As your harvestable resource. Oh, okay, I love it. Okay, you guys, come on back. Ah, uh, you got 46 potatoes. Let's keep them out there. They got 46 whole potatoes left. So go, go this way. Are they moving? They're moving. Okay, we got them. Yeah, okay, I'll keep an eye on how many potatoes they have left, but right now, this is going well. Nobody seems to be injured, and uh, it'll be nice to get some other things going, some other things built. But in the meantime, uh, let's just maintain things as they are. So we know what we need to do for the next one is research a little bit more, explore a bit more, and then we need to discover what is in the late game for... Mercury Fallen. I hope you found this to be some truly solid content. I hope you enjoyed uh, kind of what we've built here. And uh, let's go find out what the game has uh, in store for us in the next episode. So I guess if you like this game so far, get it. It's on Steam right now, early access. They've got a cool roadmap with some more things like finite water supplies, uh, water storage, various just new facilities and tweaks to the balance. So this game is going to be, uh, I, I would assume they're, it's going to get more challenging as things move on. But I'm pretty happy with the way the base looks now, the way it is, uh, it's built out. So I'm happy with what we're looking at, and I'm looking forward to seeing what's next. So if you are too, I will see you all in the next episode of Mercury Fallen. It, it, it maintain this. Somebody maintain this. Um, just a quick note here after the credits, obviously. Uh, it was not a bug. I had a different... If you have this uh, filter on, which is the Discovered Biomes, or probably any of the other filters you're not gonna see this icon here. So if you click on this, it'll only come up in without any of these tabs on. So that's what was throwing me off. I was getting a little uh, confused and we know that happens to me. So anyway, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>